So I'm here in the film room here. Uh, here's the clicker. And I'm going to take you guys in the film room of what we do when we're watching film of ourselves. And, uh, you know, kind of my touchdown play, I'm going to walk you guys through it from my perspective. Uh, the nickel here is, uh, is, is Mike Hughes. And he played here, a uh, former Minnesota Vikings, somebody I'm cool with. Now, earlier in the season in week three, when we played here at home, um, I, I ran a similar route that we call a pylon route. It's, it's sort of, you know, to a, a normal fan at home, it will be a, a corner route. And I'm kind of going to like the back pylon, trying to keep it high. And the quarterback can kind of throw me flat, meaning, you know, towards him. I see that they're in man-to-man -man coverage here. When I come up to the line of scrimmage, I set my split. And a lot of times, you know, we run crossers. So on that same touchdown in week three on the game winner, I kind of started him down and he kind of bit inside. And I was able to get back outside and create a lot of separation for myself. And I was kind of seeing that same thing here. I was telling him on the sideline, you know, we should kind of run the same play. And I have a similar route here, um, uh, uh, almost a, a similar situation kind of in, in crunch time. So I kind of start here with my eyes inside, my body language going inside. Um, you know, we, we get the snap. He's almost look like he's still kind of moving his feet a little bit. And I start him down. He kind of hops inside. I able to give me that, that kind of separation or that kind of vertical kind of push that I need to be able to push vertical. Now, JJ here is running what we call an Omaha, which is like a four step or a, a four to six yard out. So if the cornerback drops back, Kurt's going to roll out and he's going to put it on JJ because it's this free access. That's an easy, you know, four, five, six, you know, JJ, you know, who, who knows how far I can go. If the cornerback squeezes, that's going to leave me one on one with either the safety or this nickel. And that's that who I'm here with one on one. So, I was, again, I was able to get that release, something that we kind of call a pressure pull away, which is at the top of my route. I kind of push vertical, try to get them to, to sell vertical. So now I can go inside, I can go outside. Um, and it kind of we kind of call it put the DB in, in panic mode. So now he's running, you know, maybe I can go deep. I can go wherever. And I push him vertical and I lean in him and then I push out to the left, um, you know, trying to give him a little a little chicken wing, you know, the rest letting him play. Um, and that's why I was able to create that separation. So if I, if I play the film all the way, I stem him down, push him up to my depth, 10 to 12 yards. You know, he's starting to throw this ball before I'm even out of my break. And I know the ball is going to be on the way. And I'm also, you know, and I got to get to that kind of that that front pylon from from, you know, kind of uh, where we are on the field. So I was able to catch and kind of place and drag, we call it, place the front foot, drag the back foot and, uh, you know, able to get the touchdown. So this was a this was a huge play in the game to kind of, you know, put us in position to be able to kick a, a onside kick or, you know, whatever coach decided to do um, to try to get the ball back. So, um, you know, this was a this was a good play for us. Um, something that we had repped in practice and in routes on air, something that I had kind of done some extra work on to make sure I can get that separation um, that was needed to, to go on this play. So, I mean, um, great execution from the offensive line, um, you know, blocking on a rollout, um, great timing from Kirk, um, and, and great execution from myself in running this route.